Hello everybody, welcome back to The Evil Within 2. Uh, I adjusted the volume so that hopefully you can actually hear the game uh, properly now. Like, I turned up the sound effect and voice and cinematic volume. The music volume is still a bit down, though I turned that up a teensy bit. Uh, just because, I mean, I don't want copyright strikes. <laughs> Screw copyright strikes. Once again, it's been a few days since I played this last, so I have to regain my bearings. Although, as far as I can tell, I found a computer to another place that I probably don't want to go, but I probably need to go, so first I'll save. And then, uh, go to wherever this horrible abomination is. I don't know what's actually here. Maybe it's a new weapon. Go to the Marrow's Operations. Oh. Looks like it's locked by some sort of password. Well, I guess that answers that question. I can't go there yet. Fine then. If that's how you're gonna be. For all the residents of Liddy Vo Liddy's voice. I don't remember how screwed I am. Ammo for the sniper rifle. Not much. Ah, oh, crap, it can only hold three in a clip. Um... Well, I'm gonna have to be very stealthy. Because I sure as crap don't have the ammo to get very far. I'm hearing noises. I'm hearing bad noises and it's making me scared. Well, that's not dead at all. You know, it'd be nice if you could stomp the corpses that are pretending to be dead. Just a thought. Because that's very clearly pretending. Anything back here? Anything yummy? Nope, can't get behind the crates, of course. But yeah, sorry people, I haven't played for a few days, so I may be, um, you know... <sighs> okay, good to know that I can open hydrants. Kill your giblets. Well, if there's one thing I can say that's good about these enemies, no matter what, they seem to only take three pistol shots to die. The problem is that pistol shots are very, very scarce as far as I can tell. Although maybe it would have taken more to kill him, just since I am... Um, I'm just walking in here to see if I can drink a coffee really quick. Hopefully save myself a health kit. Sorry people, just one second. Drink the hot coffee. At least that's one less enemy. My only problem is I really need bullets so badly. I need bullets so bad. Oh no. Oh jeez, Scoob. Just gonna save so I don't have to kill that thing again. Anyways, I hope you can all hear the game properly now, since I turned up the volume. I think part of the reason why the volume was so low was I also lowered the, like, my recording program has a setting to where you can set the volume level for recording with the, uh, microphone and system sound. System sounds would account for the game. And, uh, since, since Prey was so loud, I turned that down, and then on top of me usually turning down the in-game volume, I guess that is what made the volume so freaking low for this. So, my fault. I'm sorry, people. But, it shouldn't be a problem now. 
Uh, just let me know if the sound is too loud for you this time, because I pro may have turned it up a little bit too loud to compensate, but I don't know, hopefully not. Hopefully it's the perfect volume for you so everybody can be happy. You son of a... Mm. You make me not want to say very nice things. Prick. I didn't want to waste three pistol bullets on that thing. I have so few pistol bullets as it is. God dang it. Oh, Joel. Why would you only give me three freaking gunpowder? You're skimping out on me, game. Jesus Christ. When I say I need gunpowder, I need some bloody gunpowder. I need a freaking armory full of it. Oh, this looks like a lovely neighborhood. Any other signals? <sighs> really? Really? Why are there so many undead things here? Screw it. It needs to be gotten rid of. Actually, wait. Of course it's not going to let it be that easy. Why would it be? I'll try throwing a bottle. Oh, come on! It's obviously alive. What a prick. I only have one shock bolt too. You are really breaking my balls, game. Harpoon only got one explosive one. I only got one of each. Great. Screw it. I may as well use harpoon since those are the easiest to come across. Bye, lady. Good night. God dang, I'm so sick of that. There better not be any more little pricks hiding around here. I've had enough of these things. Freaking one building, three enemies hidden around it. What kind of garbage is that? That looks like a body that probably isn't dead. And looks like Lily's voice is around here. Fan flippantastic. Yep, you're not dead. Of course. Oh, well, you know, there's a twofer. Are you serious? And something is here. I heard something move. Please tell me that didn't see me. Don't see me, sir. Why do they get up as soon as I pick up herbs? What kind of garbage is that? Just kill it. Save me the ammo. I'll sneak up on the other one in a second, just making sure it didn't see me. Oh, man. I'm just eliminating things because thankfully they don't seem to respawn. I want to make sure that they stay dead. G-Scoob. You didn't see me. Don't even pretend that you did. Mr. Puss. Mm. 
Ugh, you nasty. All right, finally I can conserve ammo. Now, if only some of these things would start dropping bullets. Have I been in there? Don't worry, I'm gonna go back to Lily's voice in a second. I just wanna make sure I haven't missed anything. Yeah, based on the corpse being empty, I'm sure I've been here. What the hell was that noise? It sounded like shuffling. Somebody doing the shuffle. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Oh, wait, wait. May have found a signal. I'm gonna go with this signal first. Oh no. I hated that sound back when I could barely hear anything. I hate it worse now. Oh my god. And now I'm upset. Did I just hear what I thought I heard? There's three enemies over there. If you're wondering why I'm not going to that. But the worst thing... Yep. There's a clicker. There's a clickety click 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 monster. Here. Handgun ammo pouch. Okay, I'll take that. Is that a mansion? That's a mansion. Oh, and of course, there's one of those things just standing in the middle of the freaking road, being a creeper. Because why not? I wonder if I could take her out with an explosive bolt. That would be very nice. Because as I recall, one stab to the back of the head... No, no, it didn't. No, no, no. One stab to the back of the head and three pistol shots took her out, so... I guess that's a possibility, if she'll ever turn around. But I also saw that, like, three shotgun blasts took her out, but that was before I upgraded my shotgun, I think. Why don't you turn around, lady? Oh, of course, she's freaking guarding the thing. You know what? I think I'll just take her out with a sniper shot. Oh my god. The fact that that missed, for one, is embarrassing. <laughs> the fact that that didn't alert her is stupid. You don't hear anything, lady. You heard a gunshot for some reason, but you still didn't see it. Oh my freaking god. I'm, d I'm just gonna equip the shotgun. I can't believe I wasted that sniper shot on that. That was such bull. Don't turn around, you prick. Oh, for god's sake. Really? This is what we're doing. Oh my god, this lady is such a prick. Stop clicking. Stop being a clicker. No one likes a clicker. Clickers are mean. Clickers are rude. Clickers are stupid. The stupid, stupid creatures. I mean, they're even blind. do this. Just die. Yeah. 
Why aren't you dead, lady? Jesus freaking Christ. Well, I got my ammo pouch. 32 bullets. Why is there a guy up there? Why is there a person over there? I'm gonna have to clear out this place. This place is freaking swarmed. Sorry people, I got sidetracked again. But I can't help it. There's so many things to explore. So many horrible wonders to see. I'm guessing the lady who got killed is, um, in that house. Yep, she's inside that house. What about... what's that? Oh, that's the rogue signal. Okay, first I'm gonna take care of this idiot over here. I'm gonna leave those boxes for now until I'm sure that there's no enemies around. One, so it doesn't attract them. Two, so I can use them for cover just in case. I tried to pick up those herbs. I didn't try to jump off that like an idiot. Go to sleep, sir. Oh, hi, lady. Aren't you just bootyful? Oh, he was butchering that poor lady right there. How sad. I'm just gonna wait for her to get here and kill her. It's annoying because I want to shoot the freaking thing out of her hand, but... One, I'm so bloody low on bullets it's not worth it. And two, chances are I'm gonna miss and then she'll just find me anyways. Better to save my ammo. Even if it costs me a little bit of health. Sorry, people, just weighing my risks versus reward. And losing a teensy bit of health is more worth it than losing my bullets. <sighs> Great, another fake corpse. What the hell is in that garage? Just gonna zoom in with the sniper rifle. You know, it'd be nice if something would drop an axe for me. Remember those things? Axes are nice. Oh, great. Are you kidding me? I stand corrected, they don't die within three hits, no matter what. I guess my freaking knife did some damage to that thing before. And I'm officially screwed as far as ammo goes, unless I find a freaking crafting thingamajig. God, what an idiot I am. I'm sorry, people, I keep making complete amateur mistakes. Well, the fact that that thing closed behind me was a load of bull. Such a load of bull that was. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. This is some shotgun shells. Perhaps I can sneak up on the enemy? Nope! Nope, 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 nope! 
Oh, mistakes I have made. I have an idea. At least I think I have an idea. Do I have an idea? I do not because this isn't the same place. Is there a hydrant? Hydrant somewhere, please. Did I lose track of them? I lost track of them? Oh, thank God the enemies are stupid. Oh. That was pure freaking luck right there. Still gonna kill those things. One by one if I have to. Okay, weapon parts. Good. You know, it'd be really nice if I could do... If I could find the thing that you can get in, uh... The Evil Within 2... Evil Within 1. I wonder if you can get that in this. Uh, maybe for completing Nightmare Mode? Because, uh... There's a weapon you can unlock in the Evil Within 1 for beating the game on the hardest difficulty. Which is, uh, Brass Knuckles. That lets you basically one-shot and melee everything. Although back then, in that, you could only punch people instead of stab them with, cut them with a knife, so maybe it would be something else entirely in this game. Let's go take your brain juice, mister. Oh my god, there's so many god dang enemies! Why? I'm gonna throw a bottle on that thing. Actually, better idea. I'm gonna wear this lady over here. At least I hope I wear her over here. And then ambush her. Come on, pretty lady. Come on. I preferred if that guy would go away. Son of a muffin. Sorry, people. I got comp- You didn't see me. You thought you saw me. But you can't even imagine seeing me. No, sir. Re-blob. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Screwed up. That's what I did, people. Total amateur. Amateur hour here. Oh, I lost track of them again. Jesus Christ, game. Don't... Okay. At least I lost track of them again. Now, if I can just sneak up and stab the bastards, it would make my life so much simpler. The problem is finding them. Okay, I'm gonna wait until she waddles over here, and then turns around, and then waddles back. And then as soon as she turns around, she's getting the knife in the head. Then I'm gonna deal with that prick over there. And try to deal with these two other corpses. I swear, wherever the hell they're guarding better be worth the trouble, because Jesus flippin' Christ. I mean, seriously. Look at all this crap. You gotta take your brain juice, sweetie. And then 
you. You're gonna get penetrated. <laughs> Don't you dare move. There, good freaking riddance. Finally. Good lord. So now, all that's left is this body right here that's very... Or at least was going to get up. I guess it's not getting up? Fine then. I'll just piss it off. Tonight on Jackass! Stabbing a zombie and running. <laughs> At the very least, I lost track of it. Also, is it me or are those things. Do those things have the same freaking sound effect as the, uh, the freaking Hulk? It sounds like the Hulk to me. Or at least the sound effects they used for uh, Hulk versus, versus um, what was his name? The thing that made a lot of people butt hurt. Well, if this is a mistake. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Thank you. There. Well, if I knew that getting rid of zombies like that was so easy, I would have started doing that to begin with. That's what I'm just gonna do, hit and run tactics. Hey, mister. You look pretty. Bye! But yeah, I think it's, uh, Doomsday? Yeah, it's Doomsday that I'm thinking of. It was Hulk versus Doomsday, I think. Made a lot of people angry. Or at least Hulk fans angry. But yeah, that sounds like the same sound effect they were making in that. Or the same roar, quote unquote. Alright, just gonna let him do his little patrolling. Please tell me you're not gonna sit back down and fake it. No, you're not. Thankfully, the AI is not smart enough to do that. That would be really annoying. I'll do that later. Come on, fiddlesticks. You're not going to come over here, are you? Screw you too, mate. I'm giving you ten seconds to start waddling over here. You're seriously not going to come over here? You can't see me from that far? Oh, that got his attention. Oh no. Nope. That didn't work. Freaking old man. Okay. Don't see me. to run any farther than I have. Come on, turn around, Dingleberry. I swear there's something walking around in that house. Sorry, people, you know me. I just like clearing the field, making sure there's nothing left that can cause me trouble.
Good thing is I move slightly faster than him. Don't turn around. Oh, screw off! What a piece of crap. Jesus, finally! Was that so hard? Whew. Wait. Huh, I wonder if this is something. Maybe? This looks like something. A shortcut or something to sneak into. I think this is somewhere I've been, though, so probably not something to sneak into. Just in case, I'll climb over, look inside, see that there's nothing, and climb back up these stairs? Wait, can I open this? No. Okay. Sorry, people. Was just making sure. Don't worry, I'm not gonna get too sidetracked. I'm just confirming where is where. At the very least, they're all dead now. Finally. Now, let me check inside here. Another body. Except this one isn't evil. I'm just so glad that normal looking corpses are so easily recognizable and won't switch up on me because that would piss me off okay nothing in there nothing in that huh oh well at least i'm finally starting to get some gunpowder if i could just find a freaking workbench i could make some ammo You've got to be kidding me. I know there's an enemy under this truck. Where the hell is it? God dang it. Just, just come out. That's not what I wanted to do, you idiot. Oh my god. I was trying to ambush him. But no, the game's like, screw you. I'm just so glad these enemies are stupid enough to not chase. Alright, keep coming. Keep on coming. Come further and further. So I can just sneak up behind you. How could you see me in the bush? Shit. You don't see me in the bloody bush. Yes, you do. You thought you did? I'm so confused. I'm assuming these bushes are meant to make you invisible like an in Assassin's Creed. Otherwise, why would you let, why would they let you see yourself inside them? There, good freaking riddance. <sighs> and some gunpowder. Only two? Come on! You're killing me here, game. Killing me. Was there even anything under that bloody truck? No. Which is the thing, I was trying to ambush him, but for some reason it made me climb the truck. 
Although I guess that was my fault for spamming A, or quote unquote, actually X since I'm playing with a PS4 controller. Oh well. Alright. That's one more enemy down. As far as I can tell, the only enemy left is that guy over there. And probably something inside that house where that lady died. Thankfully there's nothing living under that car. Just checking this door. Nope, nothing. Okay. It's coming. It's coming. Walls won't stop it. Doors won't stop it. Okay, I get it. You're dead, lady. I guess I'm gonna go to this lady now. Finally. Jesus. I'm sorry, this entire episode so far has just been me wandering back and forth in a field. Oh no. Now I'm afraid. Now I'm terrified. Now I don't want to be here. Don't want to freaking be here. I'm just gonna equip my shotgun just in case. I think she's actually dead. Okay, you're dead, thankfully. Open. Oh, free health kit. You know what? Screw it. I'll use a health kit and then just restock that. Sorry for your loss, lady. So going to regret. No! No, 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 no. Peanut, why? Why am I playing this game in the middle of the night? Have mercy. Have mercy. There's something in here. They wouldn't just lead me to an empty freaking room. Look. Oh no! What's happening? Oh my freaking god, why? Oh my freaking god, why? <sighs> Woman's Journal. The final entry of this diary penned in an unsteady hand. There's something in this house with me. I can't see it. But I sense its presence. I don't think I want to see it. I can hear those horrible things outside. They're everywhere. I'm afraid to go out there, but I'm afraid to stay in here, too. I'm shivering, but it's not from fear. Why did it get so cold all of a sudden? It's freezing. Fuck my life. I'm so upset with myself for being here right now. I'm, I have to turn down my own volume for a second. I'm so afraid, people. I'm afraid. Have mercy. Have mercy on us all. Have mercy. Have mercy. No! 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 What the fuck are you? What? 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 What the what fuck the is happening? Why? Why? Stop! <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Grooks! This isn't funny. It's coming for me. Oh. My. Fucking God. I am not prepared for this! Oh my God! 
god! Please, it can walk through doors. Oh my god. I hate everything right now. Of course the door is locked. Of course the freaking door is locked. I'm gonna take a wild guess here and say I can't kill that. There's gotta be some way to get out of here. No shit. Oh, let me guess. I have to go into the room that that lady went into, where there's probably a key card. Sneak past her, get back in here, and get through that freaking door. I hate everything right now. Oh my god. This is not a turn I was expecting out of nowhere. I was hoping to just find a bloody corpse. All I wanted to find was a goddamn corpse. Oh my god, I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Shut up, Krugs. I hate you right now. I hate everything about this god dang situation. Can I at least hide under the bed? Of course not. Why would I be able to hide under the bed? That'd be the sensible freaking thing to do. God dang it! Oh my god! I'm sorry, I'm cursing so much all of a sudden, people. But this is like... I'm dead. Here I go. Hi. Hi, lady. Oh, of course. Yeah, as I thought, bullets don't affect you. You, you move like a ghost. No. You know what I'd love to know right now? What the fuck I'm supposed to do? Hi. Aren't you pretty? Oh my god. I hate this. Open the goddamn drawer. Give me- There's no card key! Where's the freaking card key? I've searched every freaking door! There's only two doors, people! God. I don't know what to do. I'm so freaking panicked right now. My only grace is that whenever she does see me, she's slow as hell. But other than that... F fuck you! Pardon my language. <sighs> but why is this a thing? It's a, it's a literally a ghost. I can't fight it. I can't hurt it. I can't do anything to affect it in the least. I don't know what to do, and I'm freaking terrified. God dang it. And Krugs is sitting here mocking me because he's watching the god dang stream! <sighs> because Krugs is a prick.
Why is it that when I get close to that, there's static? Is she about to come back in here? I, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. As far as I can tell, I just need to find the key card and leave through that door somehow. But otherwise, I don't freaking know how to get out of here. She's... I think she's in the room to my right. Except... She goes through doors. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. to sing. What heartless bastard created you? It's probably in here. It's right here, I bet. This might get me out of here. Oh my god. The security card will open the locked door of the sealed hospital ward. It seems familiar somehow. Great. Good for you, Tremendous Bigly. Can I get the fuck out of here, please? Oh. Let me guess. She went back in there. She went back in there because she automatically knew. Yep. That's exactly the kind of game this freaking piece of crap is playing with me. Oh, God, why does it gotta be a giant freaking Jew on the Grudge ghost lady? God damn it, Japan. Why do you do this to me? Freaking Shinji Mikami. Why do you hate me so much? I enjoyed the first Evil Within. Sorta. Mostly. But then you're like, oh, you know what would be great for the Evil Within that's supposed to be a spiritual successor to Resident Evil? Let's make it like Silent Fucking Hill! the door. Nope. 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 Don't you do it. Oh. I escaped. Did I just imagine that? No. That was... What was that thing? You tell was me. Was real or all in my mind? I... Hate everything about you right now. Photographic slide, a relic from pre phone camera era. There are. These are found mostly in old people's attics and estate cells. They can be viewed using the slide projector slider. Of course. Can I leave now? Leaving would be great. Leaving would be tremendous. Did that light just flash? I went out. I'm leaving. I don't want anything more to do with you, lady. <sighs> screw this game. <laughs> Just screw it. Screw the creators. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. I don't hate the game. Just screw everything about that situation I was just in, though. Oh, my head hurts from the stress I just had. My head physically hurts. I'm gonna need to take some aspirin. Oh my god. And then there's that dingleberry up there. 
I wonder if I shot him in the arm, would it light his hand on fire? Would he drop the thing and light himself on fire? I'm just waiting to take the shot. Stop moving, you idiot. Nope. Didn't work. Of course it didn't work. The good thing, though, is I didn't really gain his attention. I'm curious as to why shooting him in the hand didn't make him drop the freaking bottle, though. But yeah, so everything about that ghost lady, fucker, fucker, right in the butt. Oh, and screw you, Crooks, for freaking making fun of me. What the hell? Are you fucking serious? No. Why? Why is she back? I hate everything right now. You know what? I'm just gonna go over there and hope that lady doesn't find me. She found me. She's twitching. Stop twitching, lady. Oh my fucking god. Can 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 she just go away? Please? I'm literally begging you. She goes through trees. She goes through everything. You can't hurt her. I have no goddamn bullets. I am so upset right now. I need a minute, people. I need a minute. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I had to calm down. <laughs> This is too stressful for me. Too spooks for me. Please tell me she's not following me. She's following me. Fuck you, lady. You're such a piece of crap. Can I... Can I get rid of her? I don't know if it's possible to get rid of her. I'll try my damnedest to get rid of her. You know what? I'm just gonna run this way. Surely she won't see me. I'm sure I'm stupid. Oh! Um. Well then. Thank freaking Christ. Will she stay gone for a while? Freaking hope so. Screw everything about this situation. Oh my god. That literally, like. Uh, uh, that, this game's gonna give me freaking heart palpitations if I have to deal with that freaking monstrosity regularly now. That scared me. What the hell? Detective, could you please tell me about that day of being in mental hospital? I told you ten times already. Let's go through it one more time. <sighs> this is more like an interrogation than an interview. Please. Detective. 
Why am I going here? This seems like a bad idea. Why the hell would there be... something... here? For one. About... Sebastian's freaking interview. Okay, that door's locked for some reason. Which, knowing my luck, means that there's going to be something to come out of it whenever I try to leave. No? No. I refuse. Okay, texture, stop freaking out, please. People, this game is making me upset right now. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna go here. Oh, f fuck you. I'm sorry for the language, people, but this is legit upsetting me. Why is there a gurney in here? KCPD request for psychological evaluation, date November 17th, 2014. Detective Seba uh, Sergeant Castellanos, following the events of Beacon Mental Hospital in October 2014, the department policy requires that you undergo a mandatory psychological evaluation. Please report to the Standards and Training Division to schedule your fitness for duty evaluation. Dwayne Wright, Police Psychological Services, handwritten note. Sebastian, this is nothing to worry about. Just tick a few boxes, answer a few questions, SOP. I don't know what SOP means. The fact that I can't leave through that upsets me greatly. What's gonna happen? Something's gonna happen. I don't trust you. You better let me out this door. Fuck you! Now this TV's on. Nope. You're hurting me. Detective, could you please tell me about that day of being in mental hospital? Stop. I told you ten times already. Please stop. One more time. I don't want to look at this. This is more like an interrogation than an interview. Please. Detective. No. That's me. Um. Can I leave? I'm feeling abused right now, and I hate it. Every fucking door's locked. Can I exit through the TV? No. What do I do? Screw you. <sighs> Torn psychological evaluation report. Top. File 15, psychiatric assessment of Detective Sebastian Castellanos. Work while cleared of any wrongdoing in the disappearance of Detective Oda and Junior Detective Kidman. Detective Castellanos' statement about the Beacon Mental Hospital incident has been vague and evasive. <sighs> I heard... Initially reluctant to speak to a mental health specialist, Detective Castellanos eventually opened up about what happened that day. It is my expert opinion that he is suffering from paranoid delusions. The recent death of his daughter, combined with whatever happened at Beacon, seems to have fractured his grip on reality. It is my recommendation that Detec Detective Castellanos, the bottom half of the paper, has been torn off the freaking course. We had a call. There's something happening at Beacon 
mental hospital. Why? But if it wasn't the hospital, it was somewhere else. Are you certain that's what you saw? My story's not gonna change, damn it. It was like hell in there. A whole other world. And this all took place at the hospital? I just said it did. <sighs> Can I leave? The counseling they made me do after. Please let me leave. I will do anything to leave. Oh fuck my life. Please, just please stop doing this to me. What? <sighs> Make up your freaking mind. game. Oh my god. This game is physically assaulting my heart and I can't take it right now. What the, what the? I don't know what it wants from me. What do you want from me? Would you make up your god dang mind? Oh, that was my fault. I kept accidentally hitting that button. But still. It was just a fever dream. A figment of your imagination. I feel like I'm having a freaking a fever dream. dream right now. I was inside of a killer's mind. It was as real as you are. That may be. But what good is it to hang on to this version of reality? Perhaps if we disabuse you of this notion, things will go more smoothly for you. Just let me leave. Was I'm he just head shrinking me here? Begging you. Did he know something I didn't? Oh, screw off. You cannot keep me here. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You cannot keep me here. Nope. Why? Why does this game hate me so? I don't know what the hell is making the noise, but I'm leaving. I am leaving this hellhole. So freaking help me God. Please let me leave. Oh, okay, it's just flashbacks. That's f flashbacks I'm fine with. What I'm afraid of is new stuff. Beacon. I can't be back. Why the hell? I'm. Am I here? I am trying to run you, moron. God dang it, Crooks. Oh great, I'm sitting in a pool of blood, of course. Why am I approaching this thing? Uh, I'm afraid to look. God dang jump scare setups. No! 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 Not again. I'm not going through that again. Not her. What the hell is going on? Why is there a corpse in here? Never forget, Beacon. Were those just memories? Hi. What do you want? No, I'm not okay. I feel like I'm gonna go to cardiac arrest. I was there again. How could that be? This is a completely new stem. I don't know. But I know what I saw. God, I hope it doesn't happen again. It 
It's bad enough in here already. I don't want to have to relive the past over and over. The place is trying to mess with me. Can't get distracted. Ugh. Gotta find Lily. Just, just get out of here. Never again. I want to go back to a safe house now. I'll save Lily. Well, or at least look for Lily in the next episode. But right now, after what I just went through, I, I, I need to rest. I need to rest my brain and my heart. Um. Okay, that's... What I was before. Um. Oh, wait, there's a safe house. Yeah, there's the safe house. I'm gonna go there. Oh my god. Thank you, safe house, for existing. I need my safe space. Oh my god. This episode took a freaking turn for the worst. It's like, oh, everything for, like, for about half the episode, everything's fine. Just doing some scavenging, just killing some enemies, and then everything falls apart. Everything completely fell apart for me. Oh my god, my heart. I should have never went into that house where that freaking journal was. Oh, man. Alright, what can I upgrade? Pistol? Yeah, I can upgrade the pistol. No, I can't. I don't have the parts. Darn it. What can I upgrade? that. No, I need 360. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, screw it. Increase capacity. And make some freaking bullets, for God's sake. I don't have much freaking bullet thing. I don't have enough. I'm so screwed. I'm screwed in the worst freaking way. Oh my God. Why am I so freaking low on that stuff? Seriously? <sighs> you look like you could use some help, detective. I need more than help, lady. I need whatever that thing that ghost is, I need it to be dead. I know it's a ghost, so it's technically already dead, but it needs to There's be more dead. Wrong with being cautious. But you can't avoid fighting forever. Maybe you should think about adding some combat skills. Um. Hmm. I don't have enough green juice for. or brain juice to do what I'd like to do. Well, I do got that, though. You know what, I'll save it. I'll save it. Unless... Well, that's useful, but... Second chance. Automatically use a medical syringe when taking fatal damage. Does not work when taking fatal damage from certain attacks. Oh, I wonder what possibly could be those attacks that it's referencing. You know what? Screw it. I'll increase my health. 
total health recovered when they're generating from near death status increased? I will take that definitely. Life gauge maximum increase. If an attack would have just barely done enough damage to kill you, you'll grit your teeth and bear it, remaining alive with a small amount of health. I get the feeling I'm going to need to start putting a lot of points into this because. Ugh. Stamina gauge, reflexes. Give a chance to automatically avoid an attack that would have damaged you. Uh, damaged you. Certain attacks cannot be avoided. I should probably get that at some point. You know what? I'll do it. I can't do it right now, but I'll open up the path to unlock it. Balance back, stamina recovery speed increased. That would be useful too. All the freaking skills are useful, that's the problem. Anyways, I'm gonna end this episode here. And save. So, if you lovely people enjoyed this... Oh, first of all, let me reload this darn thing. I've still got no bullets. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna survive. I think I'm gonna get to a point to where I have no ammo. And then I'll be stuck at a point unless I can stealth kill things. Oh, right, wait, hold on. Before I end the episode, let me check these two slides that I got. Because I did get two slides. Although I'm afraid to look at whatever's on them. Huh? Go on. Hey, Kidman. What can I do for you, huh. Sebastian? Beacon. My life was skidding off the track before I went into that place. Being inside Rubik's head like that. I haven't been the same since. They tried to tell me it was all in my mind. But my mind couldn't have dreamt up the things I saw in there. You don't yeah. have to remind me. I was there too. Yeah. Your pals in Mobius didn't have any problem putting you in danger, did they? Maybe. But if I wasn't mm. with you, we might not have made it out alive. There are times when I'm not sure I ever made it out. And now I'm in another stem. And I'm still with you. We're going to get out alive. Just like the last time. I hope you're right about that. Yeah, I hope so too. Home engulfed in flames. You still up, Kidman? No rest for the wicked. What's going on? I can't believe Lily is still alive. The fire. Lily wasn't killed in the fire. You know this now. Uh -huh. Tell that to my brain. Tell that to the nightmares I've been having for years. Why did they take her? Out of all the little girls in the world, why mine? I can't answer that, Sebastian. Mobius took Lily long before I joined them. I know you don't believe in coincidences, but maybe you see a pattern because you want to. You know that some crimes just... happen. There's no real reason for it. Just the wrong person, at the wrong place, at the wrong time. No. I refuse to believe that. Regardless, the fire is a memory that you need to purge, Sebastian. It wasn't your fault that it happened. Yeah, good luck doing that. Because of it. Try to remember that. <sighs> okay. It's... Why did the lights turn off and back on? Anyway, save. <sighs> Anyways, I'm going to end this episode here. So if you lovely people enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe, leave a comment. Us. What the hell? Thanks, Kitty. Did the cat retrieve brain juice for me? I love you, Kitty. You're adorable. That's freaking awesome. I guess it gives me brain juice for every slide I find. That's freaking cool. Anyways, as I was saying, if you'd like to support my channel, leave a like and subscribe, leave a comment, possibly leave a donation, share the channel with your friends, poke the notification button. Uh, may, um, maybe visit my Patreon and become a patron. There's a link to it in the description. And if you'd like to watch my playthrough of the first game of this series, uh, there should be a link to its playlist uh, as an end card at the end of this video. So anyways, have a good night, everybody. I'm probably not going to have a good night because I still need to record more of this. <laughs> and by not have a good night, I mean probably have nightmares or trouble sleeping. Anyways, have a good night.